The first thought that jumps into mind when you think of a frog is probably a lazy amphibian chilling out on a lily pad, or maybe a brightly coloured critter in the rainforest canopy. But this frog here breaks all the rules. It's a water holding frog, and it would hope that it can hold on to a fair bit of water, because this guy lives in the desert. This is the Holy Cross frog, and it's found in the arid areas of New South Wales and southwest Queensland. Tanya, how does an amphibian which relies on water to feed, breed and pretty much do everything survive in the desert? You have to ask yourself that question, don't you? These guys, there's a, there's a group of frogs that do this. First of all, they bury themselves under the ground. Then their body sort of produces like a layer of skin over them, which then holds all of the fluid inside their body. And then they just kind of switch off for a while, whether it's 12 months, couple of years, depending on the size of the frog, up to seven years they can stay underground. Wow, so these guys can stay in that sort of state of sort of hibernation for up to seven years. That's right, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? And then what, should, what sort of switches them back on to come back out again? Ah, the rains. So for the frogs, they need the water. So when the rains come, the water seeps through the ground. They can then feel that. They break out of their, uh, their little plastic bag, <laughs> come to the surface, then it's watch out, lots of food, they're feeding, but of course, lots of egg laying, and the whole process starts all over again. <coughs> Now, this guy isn't as bright as the Holy Cross frog you were holding before. What's this frog? Okay, so this one gets called a, uh, a Cyclorana nova hollandii. Wow, but, uh, <laughs> big name. Absolutely. <laughs> they, uh, they're also called a wide mouth frog. I like and, that name, it's a bit easy to remember. And for the kids watching, if you've <laughs> yeah. read the story about Tiddalik, this is the Tiddalik frog. Oh, so that's really cool okay. too. When these guys hatch as tadpoles, when the wet seasons come, how quickly can they turn into adults? Because I could imagine bodies of water in the desert could dry up pretty quickly. Oh yeah. So look, a lot of them between 30 and 40 days. Uh, the water is often just a small amount and it gets really, really hot. And with these guys, the, uh, the first tadpoles to turn into frogs means that they have the choice of eating all their brothers and sisters. Oh, so nice. So then they grow really big, really fast. Oh, okay. Now, besides eating each other, what else do they eat out there? Look, they will certainly eat any insects that are around. Um, as tadpoles, they feed on a lot of greenery. So if you sort of think of, especially just beside the road, um, there's lots of greenery there. And uh, when the rain comes and covers up all that greenery, then the tadpoles can feed on that. Now, seeing as these frogs can be sleeping underground for a couple of years and if they hatch during a wet season and don't breed, they must be able to live for a while so they can reproduce and stuff like that. How long do they actually live for? Look, I've had some of these uh, water holding frogs for about 15 years now. Yeah. So with a lot of species, people just haven't really kept them. Like with dogs and cats, we've kept them for so long, we can tell you exactly how long a breed will live for. Whereas these guys, we're just not sure. And even though the one you had in captivity lived for 15 years, that never actually went into that type of really long sleep, did it? No, it didn't. So yeah. he sort of stayed awake all the time. He's a bit of a party frog. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, whether that makes a difference to yeah. his you know, metabolism and how long he lives, yeah. um, some people do believe it makes a difference, but yeah. um, so I'm not really quite sure. Gorgeous frogs all the same. Oh, they're so cute. He's got a happy face. <laughs>